A welder must know precisely when oxygen has been evacuated in order to begin welding. The backing gas protects the molten weld metal from oxidation and prevents heat tint oxide from forming next to the weld in the heat affected zone, HAZ, provided oxygen is kept below 0.1%, 1000 ppm, in the backing gas. The heat tint color varies from black to blue, violet, and straw color. The chromium content of the metal just below the oxide is reduced, resulting in greater risk of corrosion and failure. To prevent this from occurring, welders should monitor oxygen levels during the purging process until they are certain that the required level of oxygen has been achieved. With the OX100, oxygen monitoring becomes a swift and accurate operation every time. Designed to measure minute levels of oxygen, the OX100 features an internal pump which draws a sample and quickly provides an easy-to-read digital LED display. With a rugged yet compact design, this monitor is strong enough to be carried in a pocket or toolbox as well as attached to a belt loop for hands-free maneuvering. When it comes to performance, the OX100 offers superior advantages, including a one-year warranty on the unit and a six-month warranty on the sensor. The line filter and internal moisture trap prevents any contaminants from reaching the oxygen sensor. The oxygen sensor itself easily calibrates with ambient air. The oxygen sensor is a small fuel cell that measures oxygen volume directly. The size of a C-cell flashlight battery the Aquasol oxygen sensor is disposable. To install the sensor and batteries prior to first use, remove the sensor from the protective case. Unscrew sensor cover retaining screw with a Phillips head screwdriver. Loosen black and red sensor lead screws. Place sensor in housing with plain end up and sensing end down. Insert new sensor leads connecting black to black and red to red. Tighten black and red sensor lead screws. Replace sensor housing cover and tighten retaining screw with a Phillips head screwdriver. Remove battery cover and insert four AA batteries. Close the cover on the battery house. Finally, recalibrate the OX100. With the sensor installed, Detecting oxygen levels with the OX100 can be achieved following a few simple steps. First, switch the OX100 to the CAL position. Next, extend the sample probe in an open environment and turn the calibration knob to the left or right. The reading will appear within 30 to 60 seconds on the digital display panel, displaying 20.9%. Switch the OX100 to the ON position. Insert the sample probe into the pipe or desired location and press the red start button once to begin the reading. Once the start button is depressed, there will be no oxygen reading displayed while the monitor draws the sample. After 30 to 60 seconds, the reading will appear on the digital display panel showing current oxygen levels. Once the desired oxygen level is met and the reading is displayed, record the oxygen reading if required or desired. It may take several samples before the desired reading is achieved. To prolong the life of the oxygen sensor, moisture should periodically be eliminated from the sponge filter. To do this, simply squeeze the sponge anytime it is noticeably saturated. This will vary with the moisture content of the sample and initially should be checked every 20 samples. The sponge filter may be washed in ordinary soap and water. Be sure to thoroughly rinse and dry the filter before reinstalling it. Using the OX100 oxygen monitor, you'll know the exact oxygen level achieved to confidently begin and complete work, resulting in the finest quality weld.